I'm just out in the garage doing a little bit of um, development work, I guess you could call it. What I've done is I've um, loosened off the um, bases of the springs and wound them right down to the bottom. This has allowed me to lower the car, which is currently sitting on wooden blocks, um, down until the point where it's actually sitting on the bump stop rivers here. Which have got packing spaces in them so they're fully compressed now what i'm trying to work out is the safe um gap that i have to run the telescopic piece here out to avoid the telescoping arm from actually coming in and binding in fact if these two pieces get anywhere near that black line there um, then this will bind and it'll then do some damage so i've got to be very careful i don't allow it to compress any further than that so what i've done is i've measured the drop it's dropped about 20 millimeters that's how much these dampers have been compressed by um, removing the, uh, the locking nuts for the spring platforms and winding them down it's sitting on the bump stock rubbers that's probably a safe amount of thread that i can have on both sides i can't really afford to um, allow the telescopic arm there to get any closer um, otherwise like i say it'll risk binding now the 38 gram Penske rubber uh, just about fits in the middle but it really is only being compressed at this lowest point here but when the suspension is fully compressed what I need to do is put this back on again and then get some spaces to sit either side of the Penske rubber just so that it's applying pressure earlier as the compression uh, as the suspension is compressed so I will dismantle it all now Put that uh, that rubber back on again and see what I can do for packing spaces to try and make it operate a bit sooner. And then I wind the platforms back on again, back to where they were originally, and um, restore everything back to how it was, and then we'll see how it looks. Well, just to finish off from the previous video, the spring platforms have been put back to their original positions. This one's 38 millimetres from the base, this one's 37, so I know they're in the same position. So the car's now sitting on the springs, rather than the bump stop rubbers, we've got the gap back now. Um, the Penske rubber is now fitted back to the telescopic shaft, and I've added some plastic um, spacers that just clip on, um, just to basically engage the rubber sooner rather than later. If I took these spacers out, um, the rubber will only just be touched when the dampers are fully compressed. So the theory is, as the downforce starts pushing the rear of the car down, this is why they're called a helper spring, this basically will start taking the strain and it allows both of the dampers to continue to operate without them also being fully compressed as they would be normally. They only move two centimetres. That's full deflection, which is not much, is it really? I mean, theoretically, you could probably put shorter springs on save a bit of weight but I'm not going to bother well we'll see how this goes at Blyton a weekend after next um, hopefully it gives me a big improvement in the handling and the theory then is that we can run some softer springs because these are currently 1300 pound per inch um, which seems high but it's quite a high motion ratio from these rockers so it actually divides down quite uh, quite a long way well we'll see we'll see it's all just you know you've got to try these things if you don't um, basically you won't improve and you won't go any faster um, but anyway yeah the next report hopefully is a satisfactory one from from Blyton